passing over And it feels like a dream I could run and look for shelter But you hold on to me I'm under your skies my channel now since I did my two wedding crafts here on my channel which is my mr. and mrs. sign and my wedding chalkboard crafts a lot of you guys have been requesting that I come out with more do-it-yourself wedding projects now the thing is my wedding is over sadly I am so upset about it it's so weird guys like I want to have another wedding just so I can plan it I loved every single step of planning my wedding but anyway I wanted to do another wedding craft for you guys, but something that I could actually use since I don't have a wedding coming up anymore, but I did have a lot of my wedding memorabilia and things laying around from my wedding and I kind of wanted a way to have that in a keepsake, so I thought of doing a frame like this or a shadow box frame and it's a little bit hard to show you guys right now because I do have a glare because of my ring light. But this is mine right here and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made this. It is super, super easy. A lot of you guys know that I am not a really crafty person. I'm not going to lie to you guys. There are so many girls here on YouTube that are amazing with crafts. And then I have tried to make the product that they showed and I'm like, okay, mine looks absolutely nothing like that. I'm telling you guys that I am exactly like you. Yes, you watching this. I do not have a creative streak in me at all. So if I can do this, you can absolutely do this. It was so easy. I spent under $20 on this, guys. Seriously, if you get one of these custom made, it is not gonna cost you under $20. The shadow box was from Marshalls. It was $12. Then I have just memorabilia in here. I have my garter. I have a piece from my uh, ring bearer pillow. I have some stickers in here that I got from Marshalls for under $5. The pictures obviously were free. I have some tickets from my honeymoon. I have a thank you card that I sent out to all my guests. I have my actual wedding invitation, so all that stuff was already stuff laying around. So I did not spend that much money at all. And again, I think this is a really cute way to just keep your memorabilia. It's safe, you will have it forever. It's really affordable, it's easy to make. So I thought, why not come out with a video on this for you guys? So if you guys wanna see exactly how I made this step by step, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's talk about what materials you will need. First is a shadow box. I picked mine up at Marshall's for just $12. You can also find these on eBay or any type of craft store. Next are my pictures. I chose pictures from my wedding, from my engagement photo shoot, from my honeymoon, from my bridal shower, anything that's important to you. Now, I did not have enough room to fit all the pictures that I printed, but you can definitely print them out smaller if you want to fit more. Next, you're going to need your memorabilia. So here I have our honeymoon tickets, I have our wedding invitations, thank you cards, and my garter. Lastly, I bought some stickers with some cute sayings, some pins, and a glue gun. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is use some Windex and a paper towel to remove any fingerprints or any marks left behind on my shadow box. The second thing that I'm going to do is arrange my memorabilia. I'm taking the cover off my ring bearer pillow, I'm folding it up nicely and placing it wherever I like. Then I'm placing my garter down and our plane tickets. So next I'm going to start working on our pictures. And I got these printed out at my local Target. You can choose color or black and white. I chose a variety of both. And what I'm gonna do is cut some of them up so I can kind of fit more. I'm gonna place them down, play around with them. It's kind of like figuring out a puzzle. This is a part that I definitely recommend taking your most time with. Okay, so that's basically the hard part and after that it's really simple. I'm gonna take my push pins and I'm gonna go around slowly on the corners and pin everything down. You can choose to hide the pins, but I actually like the way that they look sticking out. I feel like it gives more of a homemade feel. So here I am pinning down every single picture and all of my memorabilia. 
Lastly, I'm putting a little bit of hot glue on the back of the stickers. Even though they do have a little bit of a sticky back to them, I like to put hot glue just to make sure that it's really gonna last. And then I'm just gonna press those down in place until they're dry. And then after that, you're all done. Alright my loves, and that is exactly how I made my little shadow box right here, or my frame box, or my memorabilia keepsake box, picture frame, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video just yet, but it was absolutely one of the most simple projects that I ever made. And I feel like you can't really go wrong because it has a homemade look and feel to it so you can't really mess this up so if any of you guys decide to make one definitely tag me on instagram i would really love to see it i will put my instagram name right here thank you guys all so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this i will post my other two wedding craft videos down below let me know if you have any ideas or anything that you would like to see in the future thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video